I'm joined at this hour by cricket analyst Anis Sajan and cricket fan Marish, Naresh Mansukhani. Anis, coming to you, does India need to worry? Well, if you have to ask me, after going down 2-0, yes, we need to worry. Uh, in this tour, we have lost two T20s, we've lost an ODI. We couldn't pull off that test match. Okay, that was because of rain. But I'm afraid uh, the so-called Indian batsmen whom we all talk about that we can make one team, two teams, three teams have not been able to deliver on pitches which are like Indian style, you know, slow pitches. Uh, that is a sign of worry and we are talking about playing World Cups in Chennai, we are talking about playing World Cup in Lucknow. It's definitely a sign of worry. But uh, Naresh, uh, you know, talking about the West Indies, losing to West Indies, they, are, they aren't even part of the ODI World Cup. Uh, now, a couple of questions arise here. Should India be playing West Indies at this point when they are roughly about 15 games away from the World Cup? And secondly, um, West Indies as an opposition. Well, I think this was planned way before the qualifiers took place. So, I think from that perspective, uh, yeah, they have gone ahead with the tour. But the point is, it's a good uh, T20 team. You know, the way we have played these two T20s uh, uh, have a lot of questions uh, in the overall uh, white ball format. And, and I agree with uh, uh, Anis on uh, the slow pitches. It's going to be beginning of the season in India. Uh, also, uh, Asia Cup, uh, we are playing our games in Sri Lanka. There, the pitches are going to be slow. Our concern is the, the batters, how they're playing spin. I think that's going to be overall concern India needs to work on uh, in both the white ball formats. Now, Anis, let's discuss about the two players who are not available for this uh, T20 series, Virat Kohli and Rohit Sharma. Does the Indian cricket team look a little hollow without uh, them, I mean, in their absence? I'll be very honest, I was happy that they are not playing this format because I think they've passed that phase. I'm not saying that they cannot play T20 format. Both Rohit and Virat have done well in uh, for India. But we are talking about the new generation and we have the talent. It's just that they have not been able to deliver as far the batting is concerned. Uh, but I'm afraid if you have to pinpoint one reason for losing, I would say it is Hardik Pandya's baffling captainship by not giving Charles the... 17th over, right? Uh, where rather 18th over, we, we, should, we should have sealed the game. And you, as much as you want to criticize the batsman for not scoring in both the matches, in both the matches, Hardik Pandya has not uh, bowled a uh, quota of Chahal, who is your main spinner. I think both of you pretty much uh, um, are uh, agreeing with the fact that this isn't the ideal preparation for the World Cup. Uh, Naresh, does it remind you of the way we were preparing for the 2019 Cricket World Cup, trying to find uh, the best combination for a very long time? Yes, and, and now we have uh, we are not certain about 4 and 5. Uh, 2019 was all about number 4, now it's 4 and 5. Uh, mm. Shreyas and KL have still to prove their fitness. Uh, we are trying between Ishan, Sanju and Sky and uh, I don't think uh, they have uh, delivered to the expectation in ODI format. So that's going to be the concern. We'll need to see what combination we go into Asia Cup because I still feel KL and Shreyas may not be available for Asia Cup. So yeah, we are going with a lot of concerns. We have to still see how Bumrah performs when he's back. Uh, yeah, Shami has taken a break. So bowling would change. Uh, but the spin combination and uh, number four and five remains uh, a question mark. But that's actually my next question, Anis, about uh, Jaspreet Bumrah. Uh, though we are moving a little bit away from the batting, which is also a big concern. Bumrah gets to play three T20 matches in Ireland before he plays the Asia Cup, which is going to lead into the World Cup. Would that be an ideal way to assess Jaspreet Bumrah? We have no other choice, uh, Rika, because we don't have any other thing happening except uh, after the Asia Cup, we have three games with Australia. So they had to try him out and see how he goes about. And I, I believe it's not a bad uh, preparation for Bumrah where he doesn't have to go too hard in Ireland. He will be really tested in the Asia Cup. And then I hope he can pull off through this uh, two tournaments and be ready for the matches happening in India and then the World Cup. Again, we have to be very sure that we don't expose him too much because he's, we believe he's India's trump card going into the World Cup. And I hope that this one year's time is recovered enough and we don't get a shocker again just before the World Cup that he's uh, gone bad. 
Well, Anis, in sports, with sports inj injuries, we really don't know how much is too much. So, we'll have to wait and see. Quickly to both of you, Naresh, first, what should India now tinker with to get the best combination? Uh, yeah, it has to be the uh, the batting lineup. What's going to be a set uh, up to number six? You know, even in ODI, in these T20 series, we haven't taken many batters. You know, we, we got uh, Akshar at seven. Hmm. Uh, I would like to see Jaiswal come in right away. Uh, okay. We need to see if Sanju can keep and Ishan takes a break. Uh, but yeah, we need to get that uh, top six set. Uh, considering the o ODI coming up, what and before that, the Asia Cup, I mean, 40% of the matches are going to be against the same teams uh, whom we are going to play in Asia Cup and in Asian conditions. So that's going to be a bigger test for us. So uh, get the batting order in place right away. Yeah. Anis, what would that be for you? What would be the solution for you? Uh, fix the batting lineup. Like you mentioned about 2019 World Cup, we were talking about number four. We don't know who's going to be the number four, number five. Hmm. We wanted Jeswal to come and play for the white ball format after the form he showed for RR. Right. And he doesn't get a game in uh, ODI. And I'm afraid he doesn't get a game in T20 where he showed some form. Hmm. So why not picking players on form? Mm. We, okay, we fast track Tilak because he scored runs. We are talking good about him. Right. But we wouldn't have been speaking had he not scored runs. Mm -hmm. So there is no proper execution. And one more last thing, Rika. I know you're running out of time. I mean, I don't think there is a communication between Rahul and uh, uh, Pandya because we saw a f very funny incident on in the first T20 where we saw Chahal coming in and then going out. <laughs> What's going on? This is Indian cricket team playing, not a gully cricket happening. Mm. Well, they have to fix a lot of it uh, going into the World Cup. And as both of you mentioned, Jaiswal, uh, he may not be the answer to all of India's questions, but certainly he might be able to answer a few questions, many of which are plaguing the Indian cricket team right now. Thank you very much for joining us at this hour.